Hello again and welcome back. Scott Wonders World, the fat ugly one is back. With a beer with a beer? <laughs> with a video I've been wanting to do for about six months, in all honesty. Um I've got no notes. It's gonna be completely as a go. The craft beer industry in the UK has taken an absolute battering in about the last 18 months. Over a hundred breweries gone, some top level breweries as well. Fallen Acorn by us, Wild Beer, the ins and outs of Wild Beer we can, we can go on about, but Wild Beer, um, you can just go on and on and on. Breweries of, of, of uh, brew by numbers they went um unity although they've they've come back in one form or another by me uh there are some incredible uh big breweries that have gone over the last uh, 18 months or so um various reasons for that and um, the cost of living crisis obviously the prices have gone up on things um i don't think the government's helped with their 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 duty and taxes and taxations of breweries and uh, the amount of money they have to pay. There's about four or five different levels of, of G um, done on what uh, percentage of ABV the beer's at. Um, but before we get into that, um, I put a video out about a month ago now asking for your comments. And uh, the title of the video is Has the Craft Beer Bubble Burst? Um, I've gone over to German Vice Beer, not prepared to pay £10 for a can or £7 for a can of beer anymore because I can't afford it. And I thought, well, what we'll do first of all is we're going to go through your comments. So I'm going to read your comments out because there are some absolutely great comments. And I think it's only right that I give them the 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 airtime. You've, you've chosen to write these comments out so I'm going to sit and read them and I'll give my thoughts on them and then I'll get to, get to my thoughts on where I think the current craft beer industry is and the scene within the UK at the moment. There are quite a few so it might be a long form video. Skip ahead if you're not interested and skip to where we want to go to but I think it's, it's important that, that we um, address where we can the, the a lot of what's been going on uh, and your thoughts on them as well not just mine i think it's important that it gives it a more balanced feel um tom frost says i think there's probably too many breweries for the market to support at the moment as production prices have gone up it feels like the supermarkets haven't in increased prices to accommodate them so everything is now brewed to a price point that makes it un that makes it unremarkable. I've now switched into it's very windy here today, just in case you haven't noticed. I've now switched entirely to online bottle shops, and to get anything really good, you've got to look at spending seven pound and up. I think the people that don't want to pay it will revert back to cheap ale and lagers, leaving a smaller group happy to pay double figures for something special. I think the middle section of mediocre beer beer around a fiver will really struggle to find a target audience i don't see prices ever coming back down but hopefully they'll get inflation under control prices will at least level out after a while people will get used to the new price point and hopefully come back in um let's pick this one apart and see my thoughts on on the um thing uh too many breweries i think a lot of breweries opened up while the boom was Heading in that direction, of breweries were coming out of nowhere. They're all doing very well, charging a lot of money for, in some circumstances, average beer. Uh, so the the breweries were raking it in at one point and making a lot of money on beer, and obviously the arse has fallen out. And I think a lot of breweries got caught out by that. So where they were making huge margins, I think those margins shrank and debts began to mount obviously and then the heating went up so i think and the, the 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 thing about the supermarket thing i agree completely obviously you've got a three pound 350 four pound price rate, um range in the supermarkets those beers have suffered in the last probably 
probably the last few batches of drops of the adjunct heavy rubbish. Um, there are some half decent stuff in there, but the quality of craft beer in the supermarket has taken a huge decline. Tesco's have almost, apart from Brewdog and Northern, the odd Northern Monk of Vocation, have almost abandoned the craft beer stuff. Um, I think the biggest proponent now is probably Morrison's, or the Sainsbury's seem to be doing a fair bit as to Asda. Uh, will prices come back down? Probably not. I think I agree with that completely. Um, so yeah, not a lot I disagree with in that one, Tom. Um, Biko, uh, Biko5007 says, I had a beer cl uh, club subscription during COVID like many others, but the quality of the supermarket beers at the time meant it was a no-brainer to cancel and surf the shelves at the, at the supermarkets. For me, to an extent, the market has at times been saturated and we had a spell where there were some awesome beers, but at some level that will plateau. As in, as in the good, as as sorry, as in the choice is so good. Maybe a beer you try that you would class as a belter a few years ago is now just okay. Definitely agree that cost of living changes things, and I also like to try the more local breweries if I can. But having said that. Never get tired of going to my local and seeing what guest beers they have in on the board. Um, beer subscriptions, I think a lot of people have. Can you get out? Well, I think a lot of people have beer subscriptions through COVID. Um, obviously, beer machines went through the roof. The sale of beer machines, um, the perfect draft. You got the blade, um, the sub. You got the beer monster keg machine. They all went through the roof. Um, people had a bit more money in their pockets, the cost, cost of living has gone mad, so people have got less uh, money in their pockets and less money to spend on £3 cans, £4, £5, £6 cans of beers, um, whereas now they'll buy, I've got some empty bottles over there, some, you can get four bottles of vice beer for uh, four for three in Morrison's and I think people just haven't got the money. Uh, I agree with the saturated, so the supermarkets saturated the market. I think the supermarkets have got a lot to answer for. With the beer and um, the craft beer scene. And it will get to that at the end on my thoughts on that. And I don't disagree with a lot was said there. Tyrannosaurus69, my good friend Toby, he says... I just read, the, read through the list of closures in 2002, and so far this uh, uh, so far this year, and there's only a few I've heard of. Particularly gutted about S43 up in Newcastle, uh, Newcastle, way, isn't it? Some somewhere up in the northeast. Um, I think natural uh, naturally with startup businesses, there are going to be a lot of failures. Somewhere around 90% of all startups fall in the first five years, according to Google. With COVID and inflation, I would assume it's been particularly tough, tough for those without significant capital behind them. Apparently, James Watt of Brewdog said a, a pint of punk would cost £27.50 if beer prices matched rising business costs. So increasingly, it's only the big boys who are going to keep their heads above water. A lot of craft breweries sell most of their volume to pubs. So with people increasingly drinking at home, pub closure plus pub closures that must be kidding trade sales for me closures are far more to do with economic factors than people suddenly becoming bored with craft beer anyway probably best to ask a craft brewer rather than speculating um, i think that's a really good a really good message actually toby um the overheads i remember seeing a post from um a guy called tim houlihan who was the brewery manager over at Fallen Acorn. He's now working for Staggeringly Good since Fallen, uh, Fallen Acorn went under. Another one of a uh, byproduct of the, the current crisis. Um, and he put a list up on his Facebook, on his private Facebook, and I think he shared it into some groups, of how much the cost of things had gone up. Um, detergents, malt, uh, hops, obviously the the price in fuel obviously there's a lot of boiling going on um it, it just made made it i mean one of the things was whatever the price i think it was some sort of detergent or cleaner was was 600 pound and that was like four grand it was it was ridiculous so i get i understand that the the, the prices have gone up for breweries obviously they, they have to pass 
those costs on. Um, where they were making a certain margin before on beer, they obviously that that margin has shrunk. Um, people haven't got the money, so it's a it's a vicious circle. Um, and obviously, people are going to go back and they're going to buy what they can now afford. I think there's a lot lot of factors at play in this, and I think it's. it's People are going to go back to naturally drinking, possibly what they started off drinking in the first place, or with the occasion. Whereas um, you buy a, a, fa a fair few beers because you can afford them, those those beers are now becoming a treat, if um, if you like. I drink Vice beer because it's cheap, and I'll, if I go out, then I'll have something that's on the board at the brewer's tap or stay really good. I tend not to. Case in point, you've got New Verdant beer. Uh, or a couple of the Verna beers, or the, the, the hype beers, uh, whale sharks and shark infested, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, £10.50 um, at my local, a can. I can't afford it. I can afford it, but that's that's, that's our shopping for a couple of days. Uh, so I'm not paying it anymore. Um, and I think there's a lot of people that are in the same position that they just haven't got the money to splash out on those big beers as often as they did before uh chris Mark, chris m8705 chris martley craft beer might be over to, to folk who have been there from the start but lots of folk may have just only just started on their quest and it's exciting and new i love the quest so for me it's a no everything's up for grabs enjoy your beer Again, it's each to their own and personal circumstances. I think that's um, a very fair and honest um, comment, Chris. To be fair, I haven't, I haven't answered any of these comments because I wanted to answer them on the, the video itself. Jason Pratt says, in my opinion, supermarket craft beers are generally very good. Home bargains being a shining beacon with their hidden gems. For me, the worrying thing is that formerly reliable companies like Northern Monk and to a lesser extent Vocation are coming out with overly sweet adjunct heavy offerings that we are even struggling to call beer. Um, flake and sauce. Uh, flake and sauce was dreadful. Um, or like Brew Dog's Palm Beach Vomit Beer. I did call it that, didn't I? Uh, also, with so many decent Euro lagers being produced here, and tasting nothing like they do in their country of origin, it is like we are all lager. Uh, we are all lager louts that just want to get pissed and go out and fight. Sorry, big breweries, but no. Some of us appreciate flavour which comes from the high. Higher ABV and properly conditioned water, and not the farty Buxton effect we all have to put up with. Um, I completely agree about adjunct beer. Um, I don't know what's going on with Northern Monk. I took a bit of a someone had a go at me for my comments about that um, fruit crumble custard pale ale from this thing, saying because I asked who it was aimed at. I said because I was saying that. It, um, you sit along the lines of what did my opinion matter my opinion matters to me because if i don't want to drink it i'm not going to buy it again so i'm not saying to you don't go and buy it i'm saying in my opinion i'm asking the question who is that aimed at this company up here tiny rebel overly sweet adjunct beers i won't buy a tiny rebel beer i'm at the stage now where i see a northern monk beer in the supermarket Whereas before you would think it was a fantastic beer, you're going to get a transient. Um, what else have we had from Northern Monk? Some, um, some incredibly great good beers from Northern Monk. And now going in there like, mm, it might be a bit crap. So, and when you, and Brewdog, capable of making a decent beer. Tony Topper only, absolute dog shit. Candy Kittens, dog shit. It's, they're, they're almost taking us for mugs. Get a fly on it, but um, decent Euro lagers. We're gonna pick it up, are you? <laughs> you are, you're gonna want more bang for your buck. When we've got less money in our pocket, you're gonna buy more for less. Alex Brackenridge, uh, 9003 says, There's a lot of snobbery with craft beer. I agree, 
and the more majority of craft beers in the mainstream supermarkets aren't fantastic but are more than passable i agree with that as well i think the quality um of the craft beer in supermarkets has decreased enormously in the last year or so uh, and i stand by that uh plus they have uh peaked interest in people who originally would have opted for carling and fosters etc i completely agree with that as well where would where the craft beer boom in supermarkets was on the massive rise seeing people turn themselves around from one side of the supermarket to the other shelves to the other to spot all these gaudy cans full of stuff the hoppy beers and etc 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 was lovely to see i think the supermarkets have taken the piss with that i think they've oversaturated it certainly with new england ipas and hazy ipas and they've not offered so many west coasts and traditional style ipas sort of bitter and hoppy um because people wanted at the time they thought juice bombs and i think the industry has suffered from oversaturation of bang average juice bomb beers the main craft brewer near me rivington brewery a very good brewery is absolutely thriving largely due to their amazing tap room love going to a tap room tap rooms and um extensions of breweries and going to a brewery where you can sit inside as well i completely get that and i'm well on board with it uh i would recommend a visit if you're ever up north um rivington is that um i can't remember now a lot of breweries have unfortunately closed but i don't believe for a second that the industry on the whole is in decline um alex thank you very much for your comment um lots to digest I think it'll. E I think it will even itself out. I haven't heard of so many breweries going lately, so I hope that's a good thing. Hopefully, the the economics is is under control for a lot of these breweries that were skating on thin ice, um, and hopefully it will pick back up. Um, we'll get to supermarkets because I think that's an interesting thing. We'll get to, when we get to the end of the comments. Uh, Billy Wilson, thank you ever so much, Billy. Um, always a pleasure to see in your comments. Much of it has already been said by other contributors. I found myself becoming quite bored with trying various craft beers, particularly the ones that were launched into supermarkets. Most of them seem to just morph into each other. Very similar profiles, often poor quality and not value for money. I won't labour the price is an issue, isn't as it's already been said. There are, however, some craft beers that I, great, I enjoy greatly or continue to enjoy when I am in the mood. The consistency in quality, in quality has remained in several beers, something which I appreciate. I like to know what I'm getting. Sadly, too many supermarket beers become a lottery in quality from one, one week to the next. I think the, the consistency in supermarket craft has been an issue for a long time. Um, a, lot of, a lot of these beers, when the, the best time to have, have tried them was when they first came out. Because within a couple of weeks, I think the breweries realise they can't hit this price point and something changes within those beers and the quality is all over the place. A, a prime example for that, which is one of the best beers that ever launched into a supermarket from North, which is Lost Cosmonauts. The, the beer that is in that can now bears zero resemblance to the beer that was originally released. Um, so when these beers come out, ECAT, um else has changed i mean punk ipa has changed fucking ridiculously um all sorts of beers if you're going to try them try them early because they will change and the consistency you can have a half decent can or you can have an oxidized can it's it's all over the place and you can, can you blame the breweries they're trying to brew a price they're told by the supermarkets can you get a beer in at this price and they can they do it and obviously um quality suffers sometimes the shit's going to lift off in it um as others have said during the last couple of months i found myself drinking poor lana uh, my local majestic wine sell it for a very good price the quality speaks for itself time and time again also i'm rather enjoying lower abv at the moment spending a fortune to wake up feeling like shit after a high abv session is no longer for me um i'm there as well billy I say I drink a lot of voice beer now, um, not a lot, uh, whereas I, I pick up four, they'll last me a couple of evenings, 
and at five percent or roundabout i'm not really looking to drink a seven eight nine percent beer anymore unless it's a imperial stout <coughs> double ipa tend to be bloody expensive um so yeah i, I completely understand that really good use of a video to facilitate facilitate discussion scott be lucky uh billy thank you very much uh dupe your dupe your flies dupe your flies <laughs> british craft beer is overhyped overpriced and obsessed with oats it tastes better than pit beers like proper job and oakum citra though i like proper job and oakum citra which take advantage of the british love for tobacco flavors americans invented drinkable beer and they're still brewing it the best thing about craft beer is the can art all that said i think thornbridge <coughs> show promise obviously Jaipur was one of the leading um, of the craft beer scene in, in the UK um, I don't agree with your comment about proper job and Oakham Citra I think they're very decent beers um, but it's all right to have a, a, a difference of opinion I'm not saying I'm right and you're wrong it's, or you're right and I'm wrong um, America's invented drinkable beer obviously the craft beer scene generally IPAs these days sit rightly or wrongly within a an americanized uh demograph of a west coast or east coast um or hey i mean hazy just a, a hazy juicy it suddenly becomes a new england ipa or a west coast because it's bitter and piney um I do love sierra nevada eh? uh, dx xt 7 ip <laughs> Uh, as many come thank you for the comment it's just that youtube have fucked around with i can't see the name just i just get an app thing now as many comments have mentioned cost is the issue me and myself i go to my local bottle shop religiously don't say bottle shop to chris's beer review to get a bit of the hump every friday and buy six beers various styles and abv so some weeks i'm 30 pounds some weeks it's 40 pound plus i'm fortunate enough to be able to do this and now struggle to drink the inferior supermarket offerings this isn't me being snobby it's just a fact however supermarkets offer incredible value in wheat beers and lagers and pilsners but for me bottle shop fresh beer is my preference with the current financial situation across the uk and brexit don't want to get overly political everyone's hands and feet at this point are tied up and craft beer is now a luxury rather than just a little treat or shop or shopping staple as it maybe was two to three years ago um the, the fact that you've used the worm well, the word luxury i think is absolutely spot on and i think that's why now some breweries and the the, the industry craft beer side is struggling ever so slightly because as you said when people were shopping they stick a couple of these beers from the supermarkets or an online um from some beers of europe well, not so much beer as a beer of europe but um trembling madness and they get some of these off or, or direct from a brewery uh, as a little treat now it's a luxury even more than a treat and people just haven't got the money to be able to spend and i think that's where the industry is struggling um a little bit as well uh death by cocktail graham says i'm another one who only really came to it during lockdown when dave got to be it to the, the beer hawk sponsorship and it was nice to have something a bit of fun and different that felt like it might have been helping a channel we liked that's how i found you what you found us we found some great beers since then but god there's been a lot of lot of dull overly expensive stuff released into the supermarkets too it's been ages since the supermarket beer has really impressed me i'm definitely not done with craft beer but i'm a lot less likely to take a punt on a three pound can nowadays and i think that's where this is all going whereas before you'd have that three pound think i'll try that i'll have a go at that or five pound on a or a brewery when you go there or on an online bottle shop whereas people haven't got that three four five pound to potentially buy a beer that they're not satisfied with and i think those people outweigh the people that do have the money which is going to cause issues uh, Brad Evans says, I feel like we 
excuse me, I think there will always be craft beer market, but as we all know, that term has become broader and broader over the last decade or so. It seems like at the moment you have a massive decline in quality from supermarket beers, so I personally think the, cust uh, the, cons the customer who favours quality over quantity will go and spend their money at a local brewery, bottle shops, etc. And the, and the supermarkets will just put, pull in these, their profits as we've been seeing over the years. Obviously, you would expect um, a beer from a, direct from a brewery to be of better quality than a supermarket edition. We've all had beers um, that have been released by a brewery that is direct from brewery only. Then, for, for a reason, it will end up in the supermarket. And that supermarket version is nowhere near what the direct from brewery one was. I think the case of point was Double Punk. Double Punk was a fantastic beer. Um, in fact, I thought it was hoppy, just very, very good. The one in the supermarket was dreadful. Uh, so I think that that's a very, very 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 good point um but as i said the quality is all over the place and pick the the, the the and they use the word craft craft beer here i was in maidenhead craft beer here it wasn't it wasn't you can't dress up um camden hills as dry uh, as craft you can't do it so if you look along the beer line beaver town they were but not now so you can't, you can't, you can fool some of people some of the time. You can't fool all of the people all the time. And people, um, these breweries, these restaurants, um, all these chains are using the word craft to draw people in on substandard beer. Uh, Brad says, as long as the fat ugly one is knocking out beer reviews in the shed, there'll always be a market. The bubble is strong. Rich6567 says, Hey Scott, the love for craft beer has dropped right off for me. Price is one thing, supermarket wise, it's just the same hazy this and New England IPA that. It's driven me back to Pilsners and Lagers that are much cheaper and do the job in the super summer heat. Also, every brewery seems to be going down the brew dog brew route of making zany beers. Palmer fucking violets. Didn't last long, did it? Rhubarb and custard, donuts, whatever else. Um, they're all doing it now. Just make good beer at a reasonable price and I'll buy it. Get your heads out of your asses. I couldn't agree more. The overuse of the term hazy this, New England IPA that, will fill it with oh, fucking anything. Um, what's the... Where's this? I'm going to keep having this. Well, it's because it's the only one that I've got to hand that is absolute dog shit. Uh, I think. See that simple? Single hopped IPA in Asda. Really nice. Don't need adjuncts. I don't know if this has come out yet. From Hamilton Brewery. Picked it up at Hamilton Brewery. Decent beer. Just a lot of these. A lot of these are all. Uh, Oregon Trail. Fantastic. Yeah, Oregon Eagle. All of them. Just decent, well made craft beer. You don't need to fill it with fucking adjuncts and shit. So, especially in pale hours and IPA. Stop it. Stop it. And stop using hop oils while you're at it. Oh shit, I'm done here. Lee 73 says, In certain areas, York, Leeds, etc., I say it's still thriving. However, as someone who doesn't have a bottle shop nearby and relies on online ordering, I'd say it was close to imploding. Prices for anything decent are mental and the supermarket offerings generally are average as they've been brewed to a price point. Completely agree. I won't pay upwards of £7 for an IPA and stout and have turned back to tr traditional beers and lagers. There is a theme running through here of people going back to voice beer. 
German lager um, or just cheaper offerings that they can that they know they're going to get bang for their buck for. I'm fed up of buying bog standard IPAs, parallels and stouts and porters, etc. that are perceived as being craft. I've gone back to what I know. Um, Lee, thank you for such a comment. I can't disagree with a single word. Craft beers, far too expensive in most cases. Four to four pound fifty plus a can uh, for a can of 440 mil or 330 mil. 350, far too expensive. These are more than pub prices when you can buy bottle quality ale like McEwen's Champion, 500 mil, one pound 85. 7.3% similar. Abbott Reserve, six and a half percent or four 440 mil cans of 1897 lager, 5% Aldi, £3.50, brewed in France. Um, oh, this is from Alan Mann. Um, Alan, you get no argument. <laughs> get no argument from me. A lot of these craft drinks, not all to be fair, seem to be kiddie fruit flavoured drinks aimed, aimed at I don't know who, uh, not beers for sure. I was given a few, tried a few, they went down the sink, weed killer um good channel cheers thank you very much for the comment don't disagree with any of it um i, I struggle to see who a lot of these beers are um aimed at um it baffles me i pick them up they don't do very well on the channel i lose money on all of them i don't I very rarely break even on a beer i don't do it for that i do it for shits and giggles and to highlight the fact that i'm picking that up so you don't have to waste your money <coughs> Excuse me. We had a beer reviews with Thomas. I think the so-called craft beer was always going to reach a pinnacle or high point. There was only so much room for it to grow. I do th think some breweries have an economical uh, have an e economical price points. Um, I don't disagree with that either. Uh, Ricky Weather says, "Weird weather." It's <laughs> Uh, Ricky, thank you for the time. This year I've lent back in uh, onto Pilsner's, German wheat beers, traditional ale, and some supermarket craft. Another person that's gone back to um, well made, cheaper beer. With having three young children under 10, it's hard to justify paying £5 for a beer when the cost of everything has skyrocketed. Visiting a bottle shop or ordering online has become a luxury. That's that word again, luxury, for me. And only do it three or four times a year. Again. Um, and I think breweries are going to need to understand this, that people just haven't got the money. Um, going out, me and Wanda used to go out quite a lot. We were very lucky. We, we're not rich, but we have enough money that we could go out a couple of times a week. Can't do it anymore. So you spend less the breweries and the tap rooms and um the places that you go to you spend less in the supermarkets because you've just got them, you've got enough money to feed yourselves so that word luxury again so craft is not craft beer it's now luxury beer sid cannon thank you very much Sid. how are you doing i've knocked craft beer on the head because of price another one uh, and breweries are like anyone else. When the price of ingredients go up, they have to compensate by either a direct price increase or cutting corners. Completely agree. At the moment, I've gone back to the tried and trusted German wheat beer Francis Carner. It's empty. Francis Carner. Uh, four for £6.75 at Morrison's three pound bucket of shit um which while the price may have increased a little depending on where you shop it's still quite a bit cheaper than craft beer and the quality is still there but if the germans ever decide to cut corners i can't see it but you never know then i'll reevaluate again very efficient the germans um i'm not a massive fan that's not true. Bloody flames. Um, not a massive drinker of lagers. So I don't drink a lot of German lager. I drink more wheat beer and vice beer these days. But, and the thing with that is, you never get a bad bottle. Very consistent. And you know what you get for your money. So you've got Paul Anna, 
you've got Francis Carney, you've got Schneider Weiss, you've got Vine Stefana, um, all easily, and you've got, if you, if you want something a bit cheaper, you can go to Lidl and pick up Patronus, or you can go to Audi and pick up their Rheinbacker Weiss beer, and they are all good quality beers. For one, a two pound a bottle, uh, in the, for the, the Lidl ones, they're one pound 39 a bottle. Um, and you can get deals in the supermarkets for the other stuff. It's a no-brainer to me. Uh, Paul Mortal, how are you, mate? Hope you're keeping really well. Um, a very, very good friend of the channel is Paul. Hi, Scott. Craft beer seemed to appeal to a lot of new people during lockdown. It was something to enthuse about. Something to look forward to during a very bleak time. And a lot of people had a little extra money in their pockets at that time, so could afford it. Fuck off. We are all paying for the lockdown and Brexit mistakes now, and that has resulted in a really tight squeeze on all our weekly budgets. I completely agree. High quality items such as £4 a can of IPA suddenly seem a real luxury now. Things will level out in time, and all we can do is support our favourite breweries as best we can, and hope they can navigate these uncertain times. That word, luxury again. And support your local breweries i think that's critical if you've got a few pounds in your pocket go and support your local brewery or your local tap room your favorite place to go um try and stay away from weather spoons but don't put any money back into if you've got a pub that you like go and support that local pub we've got a, a pub that sadly had a, a bit of an accident it's now reopened to do a lot of craft beer in there as well the lawrence arms we go in there when we can um and i think that's where we're at Put your money into them rather into the supermarkets if you can afford to irish pearl how you doing thank you for the, co um, the comments last night on the live whenever this comes out but thank you for like not where i live in york trembling madness has a bigger range than ever as as it as it is two pubs likewise all craft beer bars do well york you've got a thriving scene um i think there's also a critical point you've made there and i know a couple of people I think it's very dependent on where you live. Obviously, you've got Bristol, where has got a thriving craft beer scene. You've got Yorkshire, has got a, a, a thriving Manchester, Liverpool, um, Nottingham's got a great craft beer scene. Pompey, we've got a, a few decent little breweries here. We've got oh, Stanley Goods, huge. Um, South Sea Brewing Company, the lovely Dave Eastwood. Um, we go to their tap room quite a lot because their fridge caters a lot for Wanda. We've got Mackie Mackie, we've got Urban Island. Sadly, we lost Fallen Acorn. We've got a, a fairly decent craft beer scene. We've got the the Merchant House. We've got Meat and Barrel. We've got Croxton's, uh, South Sea Village. There's, we've got a plethora of, uh, we've got the Scots Tap and Keller. Um, if that's your video, if you want to see the, the, the places in Pompey, then put a comment in the comments box and we'll see what we can do. Um, and I think that's very a very good point. The fact that, um, certain cities have a better craft beer scene than others thank you for the comment tom williams says i think there is a slight move towards continental lagers directly imported i've seen a few more of those in supermarkets i think craft will survive but become higher quality uh, become higher quality again that might not be a bad thing because there's been a lot of rubbish craft over the last five years the little craft etc the little little craft beer festivals um some of the beers in the little craft beer festival were dreadful there were some that were half decent and the occasional very good um but i, I complete and don't get me started on the aldi shit because i'll lose my rag um and some of the stuff that was in home bargains i mean um very sadly lost donkey stone brewing um and i do mean that because i know i slaughtered donkey stone brewing but I always like picking one of their beers up because it was good fun. Um, and you don't want people, I don't want people losing their jobs and their livelihoods. That's not what I'm about. Um, I think the uh, high quality sometimes. I think craft will side become high quality. Like that. I think I'd rather have a selection in the supermarket of about 20 cans that regularly change, but every can is excellent rather than 50 cans, but some are rubbish. I think that's where Tesco's have headed. They've got the wrong breweries in, but they've they've um, they've condensed their line down 
<coughs> to not three shells where it was like they got rid of single 330 mil cans which they had a huge range of that now is primarily in um morrison's if you want 330 mil cans um but i don't disagree with that either uh, jamie l says i think it will come back just the financial situation at the moment is not great leisure based business businesses always get hit first it isn't a necessity to our everyday lives i think that's very true also viable businesses have to make a profit and what profit when the price becomes steep they either a use cheaper ingredients reducing the quality or b push the costs on their onto their customers either it isn't ideal as we are seeing with some of the three pound cans of beer not the greatest and i don't know anyone at my age late 20s who would spend five pound on a can of beer cheers scott hope the family is well thank you very much Sam. the family are all fine um i don't disagree with a lot of that um obviously in your late 20s most of your friends are going to be drinking bloody Heineken, Foster's, Carl, Carl in Carlsberg, um, Cronenberg, etc. Um, the quality in three pound beer in supermarkets is a lottery and has been for some time. Understandably, when breweries have to um, brew at a price point. So, as, you, as someone said earlier, corners get cut, costs get cut, ingredients get cut. Simon and Simon and Lucy, um, how are you doing? Hope you're having a, a lovely weekend. I don't know when this is going to be out, so it might not be the weekend. But loads of bloody flies on here. Um, there will be, always be a section of consumers who aren't price sensitive. I think that's true. Even when the majority are struggling with the cost of living, if craft brewers put their prices up, whether they are forced to, to due to the cost of ingredients or not, it will it will price some people out but not others. I agree with that. Obviously, we've, you've got a vast range of um, economics and how people live in this country. Uh, there's a lot of people that can't afford um, decent craft beer at a price. There are people that can afford some craft beer at a price. <coughs> there are a lot of people that don't like craft beer at any fucking price. So, I understand that. Uh, my personal opinion is that a market that a market will remain for craft, but the size of that market might shrink due to affordability. I think that's very true. The quality producers will uh, producers will survive. Perhaps those who didn't choose to segment their products to, into a supermarket and non supermarket, and in doing so, argue, arguably devalued their product, might fare best. These guys here in my opinion, are in real danger of doing that. Because although they're, they have segmented, so the patrons project stuff is, is generally very, very good. Um, the stuff direct from brewery is generally very, very good. But I think they're beginning to taint their name by putting stuff like that, Rocket Lolly, um, the flake and sauce beers into supermarkets for, for people to go and try. And then if you're gonna try that, I would say seven out of people 10 people will try that and they would not go near another. If that's their first entrance of a Northern Monk beer, they wouldn't go near another one. Uh, Bumble actually needs to burst in an in extent, in my view, else Macro Craft, which is where we have been headed, <coughs> Brewdog, just turns into a homogenous dishwater that Trad became in the 80s and 90s. I don't disagree with that either. Craft market will right size by shrinking, and only the best will remain. I think that I think we're off on a, a leveling off um, period at the moment. Leveling off to the breweries that have probably, for whatever reason, they've gone. You got breweries that are, that are beginning to cut their cloth accordingly, and you're going to have some of the breweries that are still knocking out the same old shit. Um, I completely agree with you saying the burst needs to burst, uh, the bubble needs to burst to a certain extent to bring the quality back. Because I think we've lacked quality unless you pay eight, nine, ten pound a can, which we can't do anymore. Examples of who I think have got it right and will persist include Verdant. Obviously, I, I don't think Verdant has ever put a beer into a supermarket. I, I can't think that they have. It's not one that I can remember. Um, I, I did see yesterday, and it annoyed me, their whales and sharks in my local tap room for £10.50 a can. I don't know what it is on 
their website. Um, but an eight pound fifty double IPA. I, yeah, I can't justify that. Always a demand for their products. Relatively pr price sens uh, insensitivity. Relative price and sensitivity from their loyal customers and never got tempted into the supermarkets. So they've never had a supermarket beer. Um, and people, obviously, Verdant, generally regarded as one of the best breweries in Britain. And people like them, so they're going to pay for their beer. And they haven't hoard their soul to get them into supermarkets, making pennies a can, and then risking their own livelihoods. And, crucially, their good name. Uh, Benjamin says, no, plenty of demand, but only decent breweries will last. The days of pumping out average crap and expecting five to nine quid a can is long gone. But we don't, there's no, um, no, there's nothing for me. I completely agree. Beard, uh, Beard Dad's beer reviews. Dave, um, hope you're keeping well, mate. Hello, mate. I don't think the bubble has burst yet, but I do think it's on the verge. Clearly, the ro uh, the riding price of CO rising price of CO two and hops are going to be the main factors. Northern Monk reckon the days of brewers pumping out ten percent triple IPAs are gone. Going to be very rare. Um, Dave, hope you're keeping well. If you don't support Dave, go and watch Dave. Great channel. Beer Dad's um, reviews. Beer reviews. Um, CO two hops. Um, malt went through the roof. Obviously, you had uh, the cost of uh, the energy prices. The government didn't give them an energy price cap, so they were being charged thousands. I know breweries have been hit with retrospective um, uh, bills for gas and electric use during COVID, and that's that's um, done for some some breweries. It's just mental. I mean, I'm not not some of these businesses have been horrendously run horrendously run some haven't and they've been a byproduct of um what's gone on in the world uh exeter city cubing hope you keep them up thank you for the comment supermarket stuff has evolved into punk or hazy jane type beers or stupid ones with concentrates in them that's got concentrates that's got fruit it's fucking rubbish um i've gone back to lagers now if i want some super nice ones i get a couple of nice verdants they are expensive, but all superb. Let's go check the camera still rolling. Welcome. This <laughs> because I can't see the camera still rolling. Um, punk and hazy Jane type stupid. Uh, yeah, hazy beers. Wait in there. You guys just gone in. Uh, hazy rubbish. Um, half assed three pound crap. A lot of it. Um, and then they take expecting hoping that that's going to bring people their way from I'll probably get a lot of hate for this I don't really give a shit um, I'm just being honest and how I see it reading your comments out and reacting to it if, people, if breweries take exception to it I don't care um, average beer they're hoping to get a foothold a foot into the supermarkets that they then hope is going to bring trade their way um, naturally, but by putting substandard, mediocre, three pound beer into your supermarket, ultimately, I think, ends up damaging your brand rather than helping it. Uh, Matthew Barker, how are you? Hope you're keeping well. So, hi, Scott, looking forward to this one. I think it's over at the moment. Everything has gone up in price with the cost of living crisis. Mortgages are going up at a ridiculous rate and people just don't have the spare money laying around which they once had. Again, it's gone back to cost. You've got, um, throughout these comments, there's recurring themes. Cost, the amount of money you've got in your pocket, the quality of beer that we've all been putting up with, etc, etc, etc. Myself included in all of this. The first thing people will cut back on is craft beer. And let's be honest, it's classed as a luxury. That word again. The L word. I found myself just buying stuff in the supermarkets lately for this reason. Also go back to more old school real ales that have never gone up to big money for a bottle. Here you go. Out. What do I think the future holds? Well, the traditional breweries. You alright? 
the traditional brews become outstanding tall because they've been around for decades and have the experience to handle these kinds of situations. In craft beer terms, I think the breweries will with supermarket contracts, so the likes of Northern Monk, Vault City, North Brewing, Vocation, just to name a few, call them, uh, to name a few, a few people call them sellouts for going into the supermarkets. But those supermarket contracts have secured their future and they will be coming out of this standing tall. And I don't blame them, regardless of the sellout comments. I know the old UK craft beer forum on Facebook um, got very uppity um, about supermarket brewer, um, brewers going to supermarkets uh, and then they no longer deemed them craft, whatever the fucking hell craft means anyway. Um, so I completely get where you're coming through, coming from on that. <laughs> Comment, Matthew. And I don't disagree with it. I think it's all valid. Uh, Northern Monk, they're in real danger of actually sullying. Uh, back, back again. Just I'd absolutely piss down, just making sure that the um the loft bedroom uh, window was closed. Uh, so, uh, breweries become the sellouts. Uh, these guys are in real danger of sullying their their reputation. Uh, vocation have always been very uh, solid into the supermarkets. Uh, Vault City, very, very good. North, I've not had a North beer for a while, to be fair. So I, don't, I can't really comment on North. Uh, MRG8537, Mr. G, hope you keep well. Thank you very much for the comment. Craft beer, <coughs> excuse me, by its nature, is small batch and therefore more costly to produce. It is a premium product. What has happened it's, is it's super. What has happened in supermarkets and some well-known breweries have cheapened the craft beer scene by trying to make it mass market and selling for one to two pound a can. They have effectively cut the throats of small breweries who cannot compete on those prices. A lot of beer being sold in supermarkets as craft is awful and brew to meet a price point rather than for quality, taste, etc. Don't get me wrong, some of the craft beer in supermarkets is good, but a lot isn't. The pandemic, the war in the Ukraine have pushed costs up significantly, from grain to energy costs. If these companies can't pass on those cost increases without reducing sales, with Peter to uh, people tightening their belts, it is also a case that people have less money to spend. Even the likes of Brewdog are not turning a profit, and they are pretty much every, and they're in pretty much every supermarket. Brewboy numbers is another, but not on the scale of Brewdog. Well, Brewboy numbers have gone, haven't they? There has been no, there has been an explosion of craft breweries starting up. A lot of people have no experience of running a business, and like any startups, the fight failure rate is high. Um, picking through that, a lot of the beer in the super, uh, being sold in the supermarket as craft is awful. I think it's got worse. I think there's the first two or three, um, probably, how long have we been doing this? Four years. Uh, the, the first 18 months of the craft beer drops into the supermarkets were very good. Uh, you had Love and Hate, you had um, Love and Hate, you had Life and Death, you've had fucking bright, Lost Cosmonauts, you had stuff from Vocation, you had North dropping stuff in, Northern Monk were, were dropping beers in, and then you had this mass explosion across the supermarkets, and along with the odd really good beer came a load of crap. Um, so, I'd say substandard, but that's a bit, that's a bit harsh. Um, mediocre, mediocre craft beer at a not mediocre price and now people can't afford it so people are going to change their buying habits to match what's in their pocket and we've had the term about four or five times of luxury and these beers now are a luxury and i think what where's the balance gonna where does the, the tipping point of the scales balance now because with people's less money in the pocket 
beers are up here price wise they're not going to come down our wages aren't going to go up to meet that there's there's a problem uh, Marcus Simmons, uh, thank you very much for the comment. We're well-established breweries that put out quality beer at reasonable, pro reasonable prices in supermarkets will flourish. Salt, always been impressed with salt. Um, they had a bit of a problem when ECAT came into the supermarket because it was a bit hit and miss, but always had very good beers from salt. Vocation is uh, uh, obviously a, a mainstay of UK supermarkets and generally of Although they've started to put a bit of shit in as well. Even if those breweries up prices by 50p, people will continue to flock and even more towards these breweries over the five pound bottle, pure craft companies. Fewer people will pay price to park up, walk to and visit craft beer shops and then also pay the premium for a slightly better beer quality beer when they can pop into a supermarket and get similar-ish quality for around two pound a can at the moment when offers are on. I think you'd be mad to open a, brewery, open a brewery in this climate unless you have supermarket contacts already up your sleeve. Um, and I, 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 don't, I don't disagree. I think... Um, I want to see, I'd like to see more West Coast IPAs. Uh, that It's too much haze bomb and juicy this and hazy that. And I think breweries got suit, um, suckered in to producing something that not everybody wanted not everybody wanted fuck knows how long this video is going to be probably bored you to death uh andrew steer says thank you andrew hope you keep keeping well i think we could see a leveling off or a slight decline in the massive juice bomb ipa is another one due to rising costs cost of living crisis and potential recession these big ipas will simply become too expensive at my local tap room we often see nine points nine pound points these days a return to the uh, a return to the traditional styles, pilsners, lagers, and hoppy parallels will be inevitable, um, in my opinion. Another point is people's perception of what craft is. Is Rocket Lolly IPA craft? No, it's not. Um, are brew dogs still considered craft, or do they get their own title, macro craft? I think someone, some, I think someone used the, the term earlier. Um, you brew dog are in all intents and purposes these days big beer and i can't really blame them to be fair another point is people's oh yeah um brew dog consider uh, our older breweries like l goods uh adnams and budvar in the czech republic are they craft no uh is it simply good beer we'd, we'd rather without the label i think that comment there um sums up probably where a lot of us are at we're after good beer it doesn't have to be a label craft beer um i think that's a really 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 good point uh and uh jonathan brown northern southern beer reviews for me scott i'm going back to more traditional beers I love the old love the old school mate. Beer with a history. Something that Northern Monk will never have. Supermarkets just want a quick profit at the expense of the brewery. I think it's good to have a mixed selection. Cheers, mate. Those are all of the main comments. There are some drilled down comments, but we're gonna be here all day. What are my thoughts? People have less money in their pocket. <clears throat> I think there's been a case of uh, breweries have maybe taken the piss out of the, the consumer with higher prices for beer than has needed to be there and have milked the, the industry for all it's worth. While the going was good, everyone's raking in the money. So as soon as the going got tough, some of them couldn't stand the heat and got out the fire. Um, there's less money in our pockets. Obviously, you've got the rising costs of malts, ingredients, grains, hops, um, CO2 levels, uh, of, of obviously due, due to the Ukraine thing. Um, 
you've got the pro you've got the the duty issue for um, breweries where there's about four or five different a uh, half a percent in ABV can mean thousands in duty to the the government and to the treasury. You've got uh, supermarkets. I think have got a a huge price to pay for all this because they've oversaturated the market with um, mediocre at best beers to very good beers as well there are some very good beers in the in the supermarkets but i think the 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 supermarkets are la have a huge portion of blame attached to them that have got these breweries brewing beer at a price point that's probably unachievable and breweries are making pennies if they're making anything at all on these hoping to drag customers in customers haven't got any more haven't got the money in their in their accounts anymore um mortgages have gone up the rate of inflation is ridiculous um so <clears throat> it's a it's a snowballing it's a snowballing thing and at some point something has to give we've lost a lot of breweries that seems to have even that seems to have um stopped a little bit now where the the rate in which we were lo losing a lot of these um, breweries seems to have slowed down ever so slightly hopefully that will continue and some of the, and the better breweries will um they'll survive but has it has the bubble burst for me it has a little bit um it has a little bit I used to get excited seeing new beers, whether it was supermarket beers that naturally um, do well on the channel. Um, so you go out and get them um, to get them out to obviously you chase views. Um, we've all done it. If there's a, a a beer reviewer or a food reviewer out there that says they haven't chased views, I call you a liar. So you want to you uh, when you when you're new to this, you want to get those new beers out because there's a market for it and we get I, I i still i don't pick them all up anymore don't need to um but you you get sucked into the the chase for new beer and is it good is it great is it fantastic is it shit um that's probably not helped my perception of craft beer I pick beer up for the channel. Obviously, I drink beer away from the channel as well. I don't review. I don't feel the need to turn the camera on for every beer I drink. Um, I don't, very rarely do I do anything at the tap rooms because that's mine and Wanda's time. She doesn't want intruding. So we do support craft and local tap rooms at least once a week, sometimes twice. But <clears throat> I think it's. Uh, I think at the moment it's a perfect storm. People haven't got enough money. Breweries charge a lot of money for for their beer, and there's just not enough money to go around. Prices have gone up um, for the, the 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 brewery side of it, and I think people have just I think there's craft beer fatigue. I genuinely think there's craft beer fatigue. I think there's um, juice bomb, hazy bomb, craft beer fatigue. People are bored with mediocre hazy new england ipas they're bored and really don't understand the influx of adjunct heavy half-hearted crap and i think people are bored of paying overprice for what's become a luxury and the word luxury come up quite a few times in those comments uh has the bubble burst for me it has a little bit so i've gone over to vice beer i wasn't very well at christmas i was a little bit um ipa'd out um heading into christmas i got i wasn't very well um when i decided i was okay to have a cup a, a drink again um of dry, dry January was there, so I did a few non-alcoholic beers to see if it was something that I was interested in. They're all fucking rubbish, They're absolute rubbish. Um, mash gang do some good stuff. Um, I've had a couple of mash gangs and they've been okay. 
Um, but the the also Hamilton is it um, Panama? I think is there low ABV beer, which I thought was very good as well. Some other years Panama. Um, but I think, and then when I decided, I, I decided I've got as much money to spend on beer, so I'm gonna start. I, I started drinking Weiss beer, Francis Kana, Schneider Weiss, all those sort of things. So I think there is a, a fatigue. I think maybe craft beer fatigue rather than the bubble burst. Um, and I think it's just a perfect perfect storm um, of all of the reasons that you guys have given and what I believe as well. Um, I was going to ask for some comments from other beer reviewers, but I'm not sure if anybody would get back to me on it and if they want to be want to be involved in it. So I didn't bother in the end. Uh, so it's all my views and your views. Um, I'm not going to waffle on anymore because Christ knows how long it's gone on for. Um, do you agree? Do you agree with the comments that have been made? What are your thoughts? Um, is, it, is it the brewery's fault? Is it the government's fault? Is it just a perfect storm? That we haven't got as much money. Um, we've been deluged with crap um, in supermarkets. The supermarkets have a huge blame in this, I believe, personally. And, um, yeah, interesting. Long-form videos. Not always for me. I don't like sitting and chatting this fucking long. I've got a sore throat now. Um, interested in your comments leave the comments in the comments box um what are your thoughts on the craft beer bubble is it burst is it about to burst is it going to pick up or is it just that we're all fatigued cops are coming to get me um if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't give it a thumbs down there's a subscribe button somewhere over there and me want to see you very soon